what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a non-traditional college Q&A. I know there are so many Q&As on like Rush and just like normal four-year universities and I am going to share with you guys kind of my college journey, what I've been doing, what's worked for me, what hasn't. Just kind of like give you guys some answers to questions that I get asked a lot and also if some of you guys are kind of looking to go down like the same route as me. I think that this video could possibly be helpful. So if you guys are not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be taking some questions from Instagram. So if you guys ever have any questions, that is where to reach me. Also, you should follow me on there anyways. So I'm gonna kind of give you guys my like backstory with schooling, college. I honestly was a pretty good student growing up. Actually, I was a very good student. I cared a lot more about my grades than I probably should have. But then at the same time, I feel like I didn't care at all. I was always wanted to do something creative. Like I grew up in a town where like every single person goes to college. Like that was always like you go to a university. I mean, not every person. I'm being dramatic. I'm being very dramatic. But college was definitely the norm in my hometown. And I always plan on like I was never not going to get a degree. Um, but instead of looking at schools like Alabama, I was always looking at schools like FIT or FITM or something like that. So I've never ever had a desire to rush in my life. I think that's awesome if you do it. And I think there's like so many benefits to it. But like. That is just not my thing. Like any of my friends who know me is like, no, I'm not for Kinsey. With that being said, I like to think that if I would have just gone down like a normal four year traditional route, route in college, I probably would have rushed just, if it was popular at my school, just because I feel like that's really important for like social aspects and I would have tried it out. I like to think that if YouTube wasn't in my life and I would have looked back on it, that I would now be in a normal four year university because that probably would have been the best decision for me because now knowing people who went to FIT and FITM and like have spent time at both campuses, I wouldn't have really, no, actually I think I would have liked it. I don't know, hindsight is 2020. But those schools are definitely more tailored and you have to be like very driven and very like serious about them and kind of know what you want to do. That being said, I moved out my senior year to LA. So I moved and I only had like a few credits left that I needed for high school. So I graduated my senior year early, but I graduated online. You don't drop out of school to graduate online. That's like a common misconception. People are like, oh yeah, they dropped out and graduated online. Like you just transfer to an online school. Like you didn't drop out. So I don't know why people always think that. But I just transferred and I graduated online. At that point, I kind of was playing and I'm going to fit them. Then I was living with Molly and a bunch of people. Everyone hated FITM and I realized like it wasn't really what I wanted to do. I was planning on applying there, but then I was just like, I don't want to go here. So since I had been in LA for a year, I was going to have um, residency in California so I could go to Santa Monica College and get it like $1,000 a year instead of $20,000. So I was like, this is smart and I could do it online. I did take one in-person class because Andrew took one and he wanted me to take it with him. But um, yeah, so basically I did that from the summer before like my what would have been like my normal freshman year of college to the spring of my sophomore year so i'm now going to be a college junior and i would have transferred mid sophomore year this is also confusing i've also have not stopped taking classes since basically my senior year i always take summer classes um and i do most of them online with the exception of one that i took in person at santa monica college which is a community college I think community colleges make the most sense financially, they make the most sense. I totally understand if you want the four year experience. If I wasn't doing what I was doing and what I wanted to do, I absolutely would have. I like to say that, but like four year colleges, I would have wanted, if I would have done that, I would have wanted a four year college experience because I was like stubborn and I wouldn't have changed my mind. But if you're paying for your college or something, like it's so, 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 so much cheaper to go to a two year school, save a bunch of money, make a lot of money. The classes are typically easier there and then transfer in to a university. So it really just depends on what you want to do. I really never plan on going to a physical school, like ever. I really just like was not, I thought I was just gonna graduate online basically. Which graduating online, a lot of schools, you get the exact same degree and the exact same like diploma as you would as like an in-person student. You need to check the program and see, check that out. But I was gonna um, transfer to like another university in California and do that online. You can't normally tell that you just did it online. Um, so you get the exact same degree and it's more based on your schedule. I feel like I would not recommend online schooling to someone unless you absolutely cannot make physical schooling work with your schedule. It really was difficult for me because my school was like 45 minutes away from me at the time in traffic. It would have been like a whole day ordeal balancing like doing YouTube full time and that was a lot. It wasn't like I was like living on a campus and I would have like made it work. 
That being said, I could have, but I just didn't want to, and I liked online better. I personally work better in online classes. I am a huge fan of online schooling, but again, that's like 2% of the world. It just like doesn't make sense. If you are not self-disciplined, I would not recommend it to you. Also, other downfalls of online schooling that people don't really talk about. It gets extremely lonely. It gets extremely depressing. Um, you don't have any social interaction with people. You can really just like not leave your house. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> I was tired of that routine and I like wanted something different and I happened to see my school like literally on Instagram, Zoe Leadership College. Zoe is a church, if you're familiar with like Hillsong, um, it's kind of similar to Hillsong, but they have a college through it which is accredited through Southeastern University in Florida. So it's kind of confusing. There's a lot of extension site campuses with Southeastern though, so if this is something that like interests you, check it out because I know a lot of churches do this. But it's a college, it's fully accredited. I'm getting a business degree. Like it's not just a ministry school by any means. It's like a non-traditional ministry school kind of. I go to class with, last semester was 31 kids. Right now we're looking at like 45 for the fall semester. So it's a really small school. Life is funny. If you would have told me that I would have ended up at a small school, going to a school, would have never believed you. I'm a very social person. I love big things. Like, would have never believed you. And the way that works for us is that we take our classes online. So, like Tuesdays are typically when we do our schooling and like we take our classes online. So we're kind of online students, but we're extension site students. So it's a little bit different. It's not a fully online program. The extension sites are also cheaper. And extension site just means that you're at another extension campus of Southeastern. So we go to school like in these OA offices. It's awesome. I, on top of that with my schooling, I have like mentorship, leadership, new outreach programs. I also work like very heavily like in the track that I serve in so like I work a lot like on Zoe TV which is a YouTube channel. Um, what else do we do? We're starting to change it up a lot this upcoming fall and it's going to be even cooler and better. I personally like could not be happier with where I'm at in school which is just crazy to me because I was so stubborn when I was younger and I would have never ever gone to the school when I was first moving here. But I really just kind of realized like you don't have to want exactly what everyone else wants and you also don't have to want what even you wanted a year ago. It's totally okay. So I would have never expected that I would have ended up doing this, but I'm so glad and I'm so happy that I did. So that is my intro so you guys can understand where I'm coming from. I'm going to answer some questions that you guys have on not going to like a traditional school. Um, again, I think a traditional college is amazing. I think education is amazing, really valuable. I don't think it's for everyone. Um, for me personally, I really went in an education. I love learning. Um, if you don't have like a valid reason to not go to college, I feel like there's not really anything. I feel like like how else are you gonna spend the years between like 18 to 23 better than going to like college or whatever. Also, that's just for me personally, like take it with a grain of salt. If you're like considering school, I would at least try it out. If not, um, if you're doing something that like makes you full time, like I, I understand why YouTubers aren't going, that's a controversial topic, I get it, like whatever, you go on different routes, a lot of them are spending that time and doing different things, you know, that's kind of like what I thought I was going to do. I still think I'm going to do that, I just like definitely really needed to be at Zoe. Another reason that I went, this is like going to be a little bit different unless you are someone who wants to do like an extension site somewhere. I recognized that I was really young and I didn't really know what I was doing and without what I was doing, like. I was working full time from home and I was doing school full time from home. So I didn't really have adults kind of like, not telling me what to do as in like barking orders at me, but kind of like leading me like that I could learn from, that I could learn leadership from, that I could grow from. I was really kind of just secluded to my apartment, which was awesome, I loved my apartment. I was really living an amazing life. Like I'm not complaining about that at all, but um, that was a huge reason. Like that was probably the biggest reason why I ended up going to Zoe Leadership College. Also, it's located in LA if you guys are new. Um, it's in, based in LA, but there's a lot of extension sites elsewhere. Also, community college, awesome. Online college, awesome. If it's for you, I'm not gonna lie, it can be very, very tough. What's the least amount of effort I can put into discussion posts and still best? This one's funny. Um, if you guys struggle with online schooling with discussion posts, comment down below. It's like, hi, like, hi, Aaron. nice post. I really love what you said about this. Like, it's so stupid. Number one tip on building your business while doing online school. Okay, so this is something I think if you are, I think there's select few people who are meant to do this, and I don't mean it's like, oh, I was meant to do this. It's like, you guys are meant to do something that I'm not meant to do. I do think that I'm supposed to be doing this, so I think it's for select few people. I do think that I kind of rushed growing up. That is one thing I regret. This is not even what you're asking. I did definitely rush growing up though, and I did miss out on a lot of things. I don't necessarily regret missing out on them, but that is like a price to pay. Um, 
But with that being said, I time block things, I schedule things, time management is the number one tip. Like, you also have to be willing to give up certain things um, and just work really, really hard. But also, you it's so important to rest. But my number one tip would just be like time blocking. Do your friends and family ever suggest that you should go a more traditional route? My family has never really suggested that with me. Um, my family is very, like everyone, like they want you to go to school. Um, not going to college wasn't really necessarily like an option or not like doing something else. Like my sister's kind of doing something else too, then my brother will go to like a normal university. Technically I do go to a normal university, like I'm enrolled at Southeastern. But um, no, my dad knew me really well and he was really supportive and he was just like, you know, you have this going for you, you might as well go after it. Like it's now or never kind of thing. Was it difficult to put time into college and when it was up to you, did you do it? I'm very self-sufficient and I'm very self-disciplined. Uh, that also goes with like anxiety and that's kind of how I deal with it. So it's not necessarily a healthy thing. Um, so it wasn't like that difficult for me, but like it would be really difficult if you aren't someone who like can just get it done, you know? I don't mean any of this like bragging about myself and just trying to explain like how I work. How do you deal with opinions of online school? My family is judgmental of it. Um, and the thing about online school is that like a lot of my classes are literally the exact same curriculum except for you don't have a teacher in your face so if anything they're harder with that being said it's easier to cheat it's easier to do whatever but at the end of the day like you've got to do what you feel is right for yourself do you ever feel FOMO from the typical such big college experiences no honestly like sometimes if I'm home with my friends I'm like oh my gosh like the grass is always greener like I just I think with like what I'm doing now I put a lot of pressure on myself like a ton of pressure on myself so like sometimes I'm like oh if I just like didn't do this and I just lived like a normal life and I went to like university and I went off with my friends and I was just like partying every weekend I'm like oh that would be fun but like I know myself and I wouldn't be happy doing that so rarely do you ever wish you went to a four-year university and lived on campus no were you scared to apply for a four-year no I think that's also something that people think like People will be like, oh, like they're doing this, like they're not smart, they couldn't get into college. I had really good grades. I was like president in student council. I was like really involved, so I was not like afraid of that. How did you decide it was the right path? It was kind of like a series of things that worked out for me. It just works for me, it's such a personal thing. Do you go to college parties slash do you feel like you missed out on that? Oh, do I go to college parties? Did I go to college parties is more of a, the better question. So my first year in LA, which was technically my senior year online, I lived really close to USC, so I went out to USC like three times a week. I really got my college partying out of the way. Like I quickly got over it. It was really just like a few months long of a phase for me. I did it. Um, I'm glad I did it. I got it over with, but I don't miss it. That also made me realize that like I actually really, like not that that's all that college is, but like that was like another aspect of people being like, you're gonna miss that. And like I didn't, I loved it during the time and then after I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. But I have a lot of friends who go to normal colleges around here, so yes, I do do that. But I, I I rarely go to parties, honestly. But that's because I don't really want to. So there's still ways if you do online, you just have to like meet people at the schools. What are you majoring in? I'm majoring in business. I'm trying to switch my major right now, so I'll keep you guys posted. Is it as expensive? Um, online schooling, it depends on where you go. Like, it really depends. I want to say for the most part, it's typically cheaper. But it really depends on where you go. I know sometimes it's the exact same as tuition, but if you're doing it from home and you're living with your parents or whatever, then yes, it would be cheaper than like rather than living on campus. What's one thing you wanted to experience that you didn't get from a that you didn't get from like non-traditional college? Six months ago, eight months ago, I probably would have said like the people, like the friends and stuff, even though I have like amazing friends in LA. Um, but now I have that, like I have the community. Not even the people. I would have said the community that you're around people every day. That's what I would have missed, um, but now I have that, so. But if I was just an online school student, I would have I would have missed that. Is it as hard as everyone makes it seem? I'm scared and I need to know. Love you. Um, yeah, like, it, school, definitely college is hard. I think it's definitely manageable. Um, I pretty much rarely complain about it, like, in videos, unless I do, and you guys are like, you always do. How do you stay so self-disciplined besides it coming naturally? <sighs> this really just roots from my, like, anxiety, honestly, so it's not, like, a healthy thing. But I am a big advocate for a planner. If you guys are doing this and you're gonna go where you're not going in person, you have to keep yourself accountable and a planner is like a really, really good way to do that. Also, doing schoolwork outside of your house, going to a coffee shop, that gets me so much more motivated. It, that is like a huge one. Also, I don't procrastinate. The day that my assignments come out, I, my assignments come out during the summer right now, they're coming out Mondays and they're due Sundays. And then at my school in the fall, they come out 
Wednesdays and they're due Tuesday nights. It's like a weird system, but I do it like the first day. And I also, depending on which class, you can sometimes get ahead. So on average, I'm like a week or two ahead on assignments just because that makes me feel better because I have like YouTube and everything else to do. So yeah, just getting ahead on things is like my biggest tip as well when like starting a business, like staying ahead on schoolwork is helpful. Is it hard living alone when you did school in YouTube like from home? I answered this kind of, but definitely that was difficult. I loved living alone at the time. I don't, I thought I would miss it when I moved into this house, but like I really don't miss living alone at all. Um, but it's definitely hard if you're gonna be someone who is like really secluded. Um, unless you're like living on campus somewhere, then that's fine because you're gonna like meet people or whatever. But I was like working from home, doing school from home, like anything. The only thing that was like social that I had in my schedule besides like going to see friends was church. So I think it's important to have some sort of community. People come asking about like housing and stuff. I mean, you can live wherever if you're doing this, but the number one thing I will say, and this is something that I would, if I wouldn't have had to move across the country, like I think living with your parents, live with your parents as long as you possibly can. Like you will save so much money. It's so nice to live with your family. Like when you move out, you're gonna miss it unless it's like a bad environment at home or whatever. But like if I was living in Texas, I know I would have moved out immediately. But I wish like if I could go back and tell myself something, not now because my situation is different and I had to move to LA, but I think like there's nothing wrong with living with your family. You save money, you save so much money. You have like meals, which I still have to make my own meals, but like you have so much at home and it's comfortable. Um, if you're not totally against it, I would absolutely recommend not moving out and living at home because you save so much money who cares like there's some like stigma to it literally like stay home it is fine and you will love it living on your own is so much especially if you're someone who like struggles with like anxiety depression it's hard you know so live at home that is it for my video today i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it helped some of you guys if you guys want any more videos that are college related let me know and leave the request in the comments down below Love you guys so much. Be sure to subscribe. I'll be posting a lot of college week in my life this upcoming fall. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon. Bye!